Hi. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at the fix for the Capital Connect compatibility with Windows 8. I'm running on a 64-bit operating system of Windows 8 and once you install the application you might get this error. So just select this one. Now the next thing is that uh, when you launch Capital Connect it won't show uh, the it won't initialize properly. So um, what we need to do is that we need to uh, do some manual configuration which can be done in the following manner. Just minimize it for the time being. Go to your control panel and then on the system area. Click on device manager. On the device manager you would see um, network adapters models. You need to write, uh, there might be more than one instances of this wireless model. You just need to right click on it and click on update driver software. Click on browse. That is from the local computer. Now, look at the path with a, which is a profiles, uh, program files, Windows 64 and 32 bit variation. This is for 32 bit. Capital Connect driver, Windows 7 64 bit. So I'm using this driver for the time being and just click next so in your case as I have already installed it when you will do it you would see that it is doing some operation for the installation and once you click uh, once you wait for that period when this driver is completed uh, and when the driver is installed on your computer you just need to click on close and that's all you need to do in a few cases you might see um, some yellow marks appear the error one and uh, you can do the same process for that as well if there is any such uh, thing left out most likely it would be in the modems area and that's all you need to do now as we have already done it uh, what happens sometimes with the capital connect device is that we need to close it a couple of times um, this is something which is still uh, left out so once you close and start it it start working So this is the normal fix. Uh, you can go to the settings area and check out your user ID and the password um, here. Connection profile. Whatever is your connection profile, you need to enter it. So that's all uh, we need to do. A quick revision. You need to go to the system. You need to go to the device manager. You need to update the driver for this wireless modem. Browse it on your computer select the path if it's not working for the 64 bit might be you are running on a 32 bit operating system so you can select the 32 bit from this file 32 bit click ok and click next so it will complete the installation when it is done you can just simply launch the application for the capital connect and it works and if it's not working if it's still not initializing the device you can just come up here right click exit it Try to open the application once again and it would work. So that's all we need to do and hope it works for your computer and happy browsing.